There's calibrator constants to hey, just to finish Need the accuracy. Need the source in for constancy test. There's cesium 137 so in the well already. now you turn to the constancy section of the dose calibrator or your blank form. But I got Kirsten turning to the constancy section of the dose calibrator. And I have, if it was manual like we're doing it now, I have a dedicated page to every rated nuclide. Okay? All right. Here's what you can do just to kind of get some practice at it. Okay? We'll put a bunch of rated nuclides on the same page. We'll just skip a line between. We'll take the most recent and today's reading to get to see where we're at. Um, and then we'll skip a line. So how do you do constancy? Throw that in. You leave the get your initial in, right? reading. And you just press each. And then you just press each all your button. common. Okay. So it says leave source in for constancy, any key to continue. So it is starting with cesium. Is that the first one in our book? Let me take mm -hmm. a look. Yep, cesium one thirty. Okay. Y'all can't hear you walk away. I know, okay. Good grief. Vicky. Okay. All right. So here's what we got on your blank form, okay? On your blank form, you have dose calibrator constancy check report. Okay? Uh, dose calibrator is manufacturer. Cap What's my manufacturer again? Capintech. Cap Capital C A P I N T E C. What's my model number? You stole my pen. I know, I stole your book, didn't I? I know. I didn't steal your pen, right? No. CRC 15R. Okay? Serial number 158705. All right? Actually, I'll have you do homework on this one. Okay? Reference source. What are we using? Who's the manufacturer again? Amersham. Amersham. A M E R S H A M. A M. A-M, sham, S-H-A-M. Model number, CDC, is that right? CDR-5. No, wait a minute, let's see. What you? CDR-5-16. I don't believe that. It's CDR-5-6, wait a minute, model number. This is the reference source. CDR-5-16. This is when you CDR dot. Where's my handwriting? There's my handwriting. CDR dot five six two. So how somebody came up with that model number is beyond me. It wasn't me. Unless that's the other cesium source, which it wouldn't be. Not at those levels. Okay, serial number thirty one eighty one capital M capital A. Say that one more time, 3181. 3181, capital M, capital A. Cesium isotope. Okay. Isotope is cesium-137. Okay. Now, here's what you can write on the first line. The date is, um, let's go, I'm going to go with the last time we did it, and of course they didn't fill out the numbers. Let's see. Um, but the last time they did it, it was uh, August the 7th, 8, 7, 18. 8 slash 7 slash 18. Okay? The instrument setting was cesium-137. Okay? The measured activity was, and this is in millicuries, 0.123. Three. Okay. Say that one more time. Zero point one two three three. At the head of the column, I put millicury, so I don't have to keep writing MCI too. Okay. The acceptable range. Okay. We're gonna put. Um, we're going to put the percent difference there. So. Instead of acceptable range, let's go with percent difference in that column, all right? And the acceptable constancy will be yes or no, so we'll see what we get, okay? 
Um, so, so if that was your first reading, what would you put for acceptable range? 5% difference, yeah. Um, you could put... Zero to five. You could put uh, baseline, or this is your first reading, so you don't really have... Or, you know what you might do, is you might go with what your manufacturer told you it was. Plus or minus 5% or plus or minus 10%. So why don't we go with plus or minus 10%, okay? All right? What would you put under acceptable constancy if that was your very first reading? Yes. No, don't put yes. You didn't do anything. I'd put baseline. Um, this is your initial reading. Baseline reading, okay? And then your initials, you can put your initials, okay? So, what do we do on the next line? Put today's date. Three, what is today? Three, four, four. Three, four, 19. Do we skip a line or go to the No, end? no, go to the next line. Go directly to the next line below the one you just wrote. Okay. Uh, three, four, 19. What's your instrument setting? It's still what? Cesium. Cesium, Cesium dash 137. What is your measured activity? Zero point one nine nine. No, well, yeah. What do you end up? We might as well go with that one. Zero point one one nine three. Since we measured it three times, averaged it. That's not true. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What one nine eight. Doing? It was point one one nine eight. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was our activity which I see is kind of where it still is, right? Okay, all right. Uh, so that measured activity is 0 0.1198. This is me. Yes. I have a question. What? If I average... Uh, the number is 0 0.1198. Came from the dose calibrator accuracy test that we did just no. prior to this. The 0 0.1198 was your three three readings averaged, right? You're not going to get... The average, the reading average is 0.1171. What? Flip back to the accuracy page. No, your measured activity. You measured when you did the accuracy test three times, right? And you got 0.1198. That's wrong. I can tell you that's wrong. Wait a minute, let me see it again. Point one one. Look at your look at your third. You're going. Yeah, nine is bigger. Nine is bigger, and that's bigger too. Ah, that's wrong. You all agree that it is your measure. That average measured was point one one nine eight, right? Yes. So we're going with that. Okay. Use the average. What's your percent difference? Now, how do you calculate the that? Report. Today. Oh. Yeah, you can go with it. Today's minus yesterday's over yesterday's times 100, right? Will you write or that for what me is that this? measured minus, minus expected? Calculated. You expect to get what it was the last time you did it, over expected times 100. But today's minus the most recent reading, which was all the way back August 7, 2018, is the last time we did it. Okay, We're still going to be okay. So what do you get? You got uh, 0.1198 minus 0.1233 over 0.1233 times 100. What do you get? Negative 2.8. 83 86 Okay, let's just go with 2.84 percent Negative 2.84. Why is it negative? Pretty simple. It's less today than it was the last time, right? Negative 2.84 uh, Acceptable constancy Yes, yes. that's going to be within your even your toughest plus or minus five percent, right? And then put your initials. Okay? 
All right, now skip a line. Okay, now skip a line. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep holding on to this, okay? Um, because I have to keep referring to it. Yes. But we are confused because your your number is not matching with what we are doing in the average. I'm sorry. Don't worry. All right, you four guys average those three yeah, numbers we'll up again and see if you get the Double point check. one one nine. The first eight. reading was zero point. The first reading was zero point. Nine. Maybe you wrote a number down wrong. That could be. What was the first number? Zero point one one nine eight. Uh -huh. Zero point one one nine eight. And zero point one two zero zero. Zero point one. one two, zero. That's yeah, your problem one, two, right there. Zero, zero. That's the problem right there. One, one two zero zero. Yeah, that's the no, problem. That's I couldn't zero. figure out why theirs came down so much. Okay, that's why. Okay. They had a prop. They they recorded a number wrong in Houston. Okay, our back row. Um, okay. So, okay, you're going to skip a line between cesium. Now, here, what would you do if you were using this kind of page? You'd, you'd go to a different page is what I did. I designated, if I'm manually keeping this, I designated a page for each radionuclide I measure. And every time I do it, I flip to the new page to get on the right one. I'm not going to give you eight sheets a piece, okay, because we're not going to do that many. So we're going to skip a line. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put the most recent gallium 67 reading. And the reason that I picked gallium 67, what would we what would we actually be looking for? What would uh, what we're going to look at other readings, right? Okay. What would I punch up in my uh, dose calibrator for constancy? What do you measure for constancy? Depends on the place you're at. What do they measure at your individual places? What do you want to make sure is constant? Cesium-137 and cobalt. Activity. The activity of what? Cesium-137. Cesium-137? Or cobalt-57. So many times to my patients. <laughs> Well, that's what we use the constancy. That's what you use, but what do you read it on? You read it on the radionuclides all that of, you do what? All of the generally used. All the generally used <coughs> radionuclides. Skype disconnected. Oh. Good. No, there they are. Dallas, you back with us? Yeah, we have been. That's weird because yeah, for a second you guys out. were all frozen to us. We had, I forget, in the back row drinking a soda for like, you know, 10 seconds or something. Huh? So, you, yeah. They and were thirsty, don't again, you? So that makes us happy. All right. All right. So, um, okay. So, what we measure are all the commonly used radionuclides in the department. Okay. Now, some years ago, this might have been common. Now it's probably not as common. Depends on how many of your facilities still use gallium 67. The places you're at. Raise your hand if you use gallium 67. Raise them high. Gallium 67. Your Ben Story top. time with uh, Mr. Park Smith. Plaza. Park Plaza, because they don't have pet either. Oh, no, and they do a lot of patients with HIV. And they're yeah. looking for pneumocystic yeah. carcinoma, which you think, yeah. Okay, so you might not do this at some places, gallium 67, but we did. So I got 515, 18, 515, 18 under my date. My instrument setting is gallium 67. Okay. Wait a minute, 515. 5 slash 15 slash 18 is the date. Okay. Gallium dash 67 is the setting. Okay. Okay. And the reading is 0 0.202. Say one more time. I'm sorry. That's the measured. We haven't done that yet. No, I'm sorry. No, this is the last time we did. Yeah. Uh, 0 0.202. 
and again that's millicuries. Okay. Now, uh, what's my acceptable range? What do we decide on if this is our is baseline plus or minus ten percent? Or minus 10%. 10%. Our acceptable constancy is, what do you want to put there again? Baseline. Baseline, since this is, say, our first reading. And your initials. Okay. <clears throat> now we go to the next line and put what? Today's date. Today's date. Today's date, 3 slash 4 slash 19, right? Yep. And again, we put gallium-67. Right. And Zudella, since you are up here, mm -hmm. why don't you give us a reading? For gallium 67. Can you push that button, Mama? Can you fix, yeah? Well, you will when she pushes it, I think. Well, we can't see okay, the buttons okay. at all. Oh, I know, you can't see it. But now, how about that? Can you see it now? Yes, sir. Oh, actually, you probably can't see the button. Well, you can. Uh, gallium 67 is this one right here. Okay? Mm -hmm. Gallium 67. Let's see, can I get an extra decimal point? I don't think so. For some reason, I don't know why you can't get an extra one with that one. Okay, so what do we got? Point it's a lot easier to read. <laughs> it is 0 0.198. 0 0.198. That's microcurie. I No, that's actually... Uh, Millicurie. No, not when I go 0 0.198. Because this actually says 198 microcuries. Which, how many millicuries is that? 0 0.198. 0 0.198. Okay? So that's 0.198 millicuries. What is our acceptable range? This time we're going to go with percent difference, right? Okay? The head of the column should say percent difference. So what do we do to get that? Today's. Today's minus that most recent over the most recent times 100. <laughs> huh? Today's 3, 4 slash 18. What are you talking about? You're confusing me. Negative 2%? Negative 2. 2. what? 0.2. 0. 0.2%. Yeah. I'm going to go with that. Uh, acceptable. What do you put under acceptable? Yes. You better put something. You know what made me mad? I went to my darn book, and guess what I saw? Somebody yeah. put in the measurement, didn't do any of the calculations, and worse than that, they didn't initial it, so I can't even do what? Which really frustrates me. Yell at someone? I can't even yell at somebody. <laughs> it's like somebody putting squirrel in that other book. Okay? you got to identify the individual who did the test. The state of Texas, when they come and inspect you and they see all those blank spaces, they don't like that. Okay? All right. So that's acceptable, correct? Question. Um, our formula, it's today's minus last ones over last ones, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's You know wrong. what it is? I'm going to go back to this. It's measured minus expected over expected no matter what you do. Then you have to do what? Decide what's measured and what's expected. So measured would always be what? Your what you're average. measuring today. Okay. Expected is you go, hmm, what would I expect to get? I'd expect to get what? That last reading, because that last reading in my book was okay. So I want to see if today's is okay. So Okay. It's Stop being wrong, Antonio. It's uh, negative 1.98. You put okay. uh, under the percent, we went with percent That's difference silly. for this column. Mm -hmm. So this one? So we got to have, so let's Minus put. Minus 0.02%. So for the dose yeah, calibrator yeah. constancy, yeah. you put your source in the well under the daily test yeah. setting. Yeah. Follow the prompts. I kind of did mess. I, are you Until using it the gets to the cesium-137 on. gives yeah. you a reading. That's not going to work so well. Okay. And then you wait 10 yeah. seconds for it to level out. Okay. Yeah, it's better actually have a blank one. Press your next generally used isotope. Data. Wait 10 seconds to level out. And they record it. Do that for every isotope that your clinic uses regularly. Wait for them to level out. Record it. That's your constancy uh, test. So it's negative one point nine eight. Negative one point eight. Negative. Mr. Smith, you're rounding this up to what? 
I, I took a negative 1.98%. Okay. And constancy is measuring precision, yes? How come? What do you mean, how come? No, that's not what I'm asking. Everybody always asks, how are you rounding it up? There is no way I can always tell you round to the tenth, the hundredths, or the whatever. How do I round? That's how many figures is 1.98%? Two figures. Huh? Two figures rounded? It's three figures. Mm -hmm. 1.98 is three significant figures, okay. mm -hmm. right? What were you taking? You were taking 202, right? Minus something. How many figures in 202? Three. And you four. minus whatever, and you divided by three figures. So what should your answer be? Three, three figures. figures. Okay. Okay? 1.98. Okay? 1.98 percent, and you said acceptable. We did change that acceptable range to percent different so we could do the calculations, okay? All right. Um, okay. Okay. Then what do we do now? The next one. Skip a line. Right. Skip a line, and then we go to. And you got to put all the dose calibrated. No, you don't, because you're using the same sheet, right? Okay. So you skip a line. And then we're going to go to um, 8 slash 7 slash 18 is the date. And this one's going to be good old 99M Technesium. Everybody uses that one, unless you're in a pet department. <coughs> and the measured activity the last time we did it was 0 0.227 millicuries. Which day? And what is the what is the instrument setting? Ninety-nine M technesia because we're going to hit the automatic button. The day for the first measurement. <coughs> for that measurement date is uh, eight slash seven slash eighteen. <coughs> That's last time we did it. Just saying. Okay. And can you repeat the Guarantee activity? Guarantee was an NRC course date. The activity. The activity was 0 0.227. Well, this one stayed on this number forever, too. Okay? Okay, so what do I got to do now? Joanna, come here. Help me out. What do I got to do now? Just push the. I don't know. You're using that old dose calibrator coming up to this year, maybe tricky. So we're going with technesia. You notice I sort of have them going in a line. I've kind of got them going, you know. Sorry. Oops, careful. So we have, we got to let it steady out. When it steadies out, let's see what we got. So this is going to be zero point, what do you think? Two, two, one. Two, two, one? Oh, no. Yeah. Can two, I get an two, extra two. Decimal? Let's see. I don't think I can on this one. Nope. So, what do you think? Kind of in your mind. Two, two, two. It's stayed 0. Long, yes. 0. 0.222. Oh, it actually did move off the dime. Okay. What was okay. it for? 0. Um, 0.227. Two, two. Remember, that's what you yeah. got. So, now what do we do? Measured minus expected over expected. So, what's the measured value? So 0 0.222. 0.222. That's your today's measured value. Minus, you expect to get what? 227. 0 0.227. Divided by? 0.227. 0.227. You're expected. Why do you expect to get that? Because in your book, you got proven that the last time you were in good shape, it worked. It's Today is the question mark. Are we still good today? It's negative 2.20. Negative 2.20. I yep. like it. That's right. Zero point. Negative, negative what again? 2.20. Two two no, 2.0. Oh. No, 2.20. 2.20. Negative 2.20. How many significant figures is that? Three. Three. How many you got right there in the dose calibrator? Three. 
three. Usually the number that you report out is the number you got your dose calibrate. Not the number, but how many figures you got right there. Two, two, one, that's three figures. So your answer should have three zero point zero two two. Zero point no, there's no, no. zero. It's negative it's two. Negative two point point two zero. Point two zero. I'm gonna do it. Two dollars twenty cents. Negative two point two zero. This two, percent difference two, should not be tricky. It's exactly two, what? Two, two, the same thing you do on your well counters. Two, 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 right? You know, today's no, nice, yesterday is most recent over, over most recent. It's over two, 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 two seven. You divide by two, two, seven. Uh, 